John Jones is arguably the most dominant athlete of all time in a sport where you are made to combat trained killers. Okay, let that circulate for a minute. These guys are killers. They're trained to kill other human beings with their bare hands, and many of them have done it. They've trained their entire lives. Have you ever been locked in a cage with such a person? Do you even have the balls, you people who are commenting and denigrating John Jones and other athletes, to do something like that and have only just a little referee who's not even the size of that guy's thigh to stop him from murdering you? How many of you really have the wherewithal to do something like that and to just do it once? Far less to do it for a living. And then you're judging guys in a hyper-violent sport who at times do something violent in their everyday lives as if you know what that's about. You don't know what that's like. You don't know what it's like to train to be a violent killer and then turn it off to be a father and a husband and to rejoin society. Have you ever read about vets who were in Vietnam or in other wars, Gulf War, just vets in, in general have a lot of issues that they deal with and it's difficult for them to reintegrate in society? When you go through emotional and, and extreme, behavioral extreme, societal extremes, it scars you. It scars you for life sometimes. It's hard to get back to being a normal person. Sometimes you might do something crazy. Sometimes. I'm not saying it's okay for John Jones to hit his wife or to get in trouble with the law or get arrested or do crazy stuff like he does sometimes. But sympathy, man. Understanding. Who the fuck are you to judge John Jones? Have you ever been in his shoes? You ever trained yourself to react on the level that he has to to be one of the most, if not the most dominant athlete in a sport full of killers? Gigantic, muscular, Killers? You ever fought and overcame a killer with your bare hands? These guys are operating on a level that's hard for you to understand. Yes, other athletes are able to do so successfully and behave themselves. As far as you know, as far as you know, maybe some of those wives who are getting their ass beat are just a bit more tight lipped than Mrs. Jones's. Or his fiance, or whatever she she is to him. You guys have no right to judge these guys and shit talk them on the level that you are. Take Simone Biles, the most dominant gymnast of all. A gymnast is arguably the most versatile, greatest athlete there is in in athleticism. You have someone who's agile, has incredible balance, incredible dexterity, super ultra flexible, right? And all the other things that you have to be able to do to be a good gymnast. And he's talking about someone who is the most dominant of those super athletes ever. Reigning champ for years and years and years. She pulls out of the Olympics because she has mental issues that she, she would like to address. A barrage of, of smack talking, disrespect. Oh, Simone Biles, she's a this, she's a that, she's a faker. She can't handle the pressure. Bitch, can you handle that? Can you handle the pressure that girl has faced? In her life, do you know some of the issues that young lady has faced? She has a brother who's in prison right now. Oh, he's going to be soon. I don't know the story with him. Isn't she adopted or something? Like that, that girl has gone through so much in her life to be able to hone in enough focus to be the most dominant athlete in a sport of insane athlete, athletes. Arguably the greatest athletes all around on the face of the planet to be the best one. After, after gymnastics has been established for as many years as it has, this girl has come up with moves that are so difficult that other gymnasts have to practice them for months to perfect them. They've been named after her. Your bitch ass couldn't even roll fast enough on the ground to put out your shirt that was started with the cigarette fire that you smoke that from the cigarette you're smoking right now. But you're gonna judge Simone Biles and talk smack about her? Who are you people? 
How do you have such a high opinion of yourselves? How, how? I'm a really, I'm a disciplined, hardworking, intelligent, handsome man. And I don't even have that high opinion. I don't have an opinion that's so high of, about myself that I feel like I can go and talk smack about you, about people like that. And you got some overweight, Cheetos eating, lazy fucking people who've never accomplished anything in their lives. And they feel like they can talk smack about Simone Biles, John Jones, and other people who are going through issues and they've never accomplished anything in there. How do you, how are you people, where you get this confidence from? Where you get this high opinion of yourselves from? Let me get some of that. Let me get some of that, that drink. It must be amazing. God damn. I just don't get, yo. The order of the day is compassion. These people need support, man. They need understanding. They need pity. Honestly, I pity these guys. Maybe they don't need pity, but that's my reflex. When I see stuff, it's like, yo, this guy has, he, this guy is a tall, handsome, rich, successful man. For him to go out in public and drink is such a bad idea. All manner of variables can take place when you put somebody who is that, who is that successful who, and who is that striking to even look, even if you don't know who the dude is, he walks into a room, he probably has the kind of charisma that just makes people get, gravitate towards him. And to put alcohol in a man like that out in public, that's like that's like releasing a tiger out, in, out among sheep. Anything can happen. It's just a bad idea. How has nobody in his life told him this? I pity him for not knowing this. And for not having the wherewithal and the discipline to stay away from these things that he knows are bad for him. I used to drink. I haven't drank in years. It was hard for me to quit, man. I've made videos about it. My two years alcohol free going on my third year right now. It's difficult. Almost three years now. I still come home sometimes feeling like I need a drink. The demons don't take a day off even when you do. He's battling demons right now. And you know what? He might lose. It's looking like he's going to lose. He's still young, but it's not looking good. You pity a person like that and you learn from it. You don't shit talk them. I, I have some inclination, I have some inkling of what that man is facing in his life. And let me tell you, man, it's hard to battle your demons after they've taken root, after they've made a nest. It's hard. They don't take a day off. I feel bad for that, brother. There are people in the world who do terrible things. And they mean to do it there and they're sober and they're right mind when they do it and they mean to do it. People like that I don't feel sorry for. Sometimes people do bad things intentionally but under the wrong impressions. They Sometimes they think what they're doing is good. People like that sometimes I don't even feel bad for. But a guy like that is just straight up losing the battle to his demons. I genuinely feel that John Jones wants to, John Jones wants to be a good man. That's part of the reason he got that tattoo across his chest. Subconsciously to remind himself whatever belief system he is, he subscribes to. To hopefully maybe it would imp I have I have things like that in my life that I've done just to remind myself of what's important. So I can try to stay on the path and sometimes I still I still veer off to the left and right. It's hard to be a good man. Especially when you're you're uh, when you're well known, if you're charismatic, if you're good looking, all of these things open up doorways for people to come into your life sometimes to do you harm. People gravitate. The more people gravitate towards you, the more variables there are in your life, and the more opportunity to fuck up. I've been trying not to cuss. Look, how many times I cuss in this video, and I've been really trying hard. My wife and I are even gonna start start a swear jar where I put a dollar in every time. It's hard to do right in life, man. You have no right who you are to be judged because you know what? If the cameras were in your ass 24-7 like it was on these people, I guarantee we could find all kinds of things that you do that you wouldn't be happy to be made public. Be less judgmental. Be more understanding, man. This is why I generally don't like human beings. I don't like human beings. I'm a myth misanthrope through and through. I am not a fan of humanity. I try to stay away from humanity as best I can. Because y'all are toxic. Y'all on some low vibrational toxicity. 
Y'all are poisonous. A lot of your personalities, it's best not to even know you, to even come near you. It's best for a man to be in solitude than to be with some of his fellow human beings because of how toxic some of you people are and petty. And every time I see somebody in the, in the limelight mess up, I already know it's going to be so much judgment from people who honestly aren't made of any better substance. You're not made of any better substance. And a lot of you call yourselves Christians. Well, you need to go back and read Romans chapter 2. For who, who are you, O man, who judges another? For in wherein you judge, you judge another, you condemn yourselves. Because you who judge, you do us the same things. And I'm not even a Christian. And I know that. In fact, I, I'm not even a fan of religion. And I know that. I, it would be safe to say that I hate religion, as a matter of fact. But some, uh, this is a Christian nation, but all of you are so petty and so judgmental. Where's your Christianity at? Where's your beliefs at when it comes to times like this? All it takes, one news article for you to become petty? Sad, man. Understanding, man. Compassion. Pity, even. Try to understand first. What's the word for that? I can't even think of it right now. Empathy, sympathy, before judgment. God damn. 